wake up, you lazy lot. Let's go adventuring. In the first adventure in the land of me, you'll travel to the hot springs of me and meet Yamasan. He's a snow monkey who's partial to a game of let's pretend. Now, little ones, you are here to play let's pretend, yes? Only with practice can you harness the power of your imagination. Oh, oh good. I love pretending. Who would like to play first? Playing together, decide which of our three adventurers you and your child would like to be. Buddy Boo the Bear, Willow the Owl, or Eric the Raccoon? Me! Eric! Okay, young master Eric. What do you want to pretend to be? I want to pretend to be a monster. A monster? Very well. Now close your eyes and imagine. What kind of monster do you want to be? One that lives on the land? In the sea? Or the air? Let your child choose the kind of monster they want to be by selecting one of the three options. They can use the mouse or the spacebar, whichever's easier. In the sea! Okay, very good. Now, what size do you want to pretend to be? Big, medium, or small? Medium. Decide on the shape, size, and color of your monster together and support your child in using symbols important for their future learning. Like the sea, or as pink as the cherry blossom tree. They only get to see what they've imagined once they've made three choices. This greatly encourages children to think about different combinations. You are magnificent! Eric, you look mad! An octopus monster! Can you wriggle your tentacles? How many do you have? A title bar appears to help your children learn the power of words and sentences, even if they can't read yet. Whatever you and your child decide to type in, that's what your monster becomes. Enter big, and your monster grows, or type in small, or green. In this way, children start to understand that words and sentences are just our versions of symbols. You can use similes as well, like tiny or we, instead of small, to introduce children to some new words. And when your child presses the spacebar, each new monster does something exciting. Look, you are magnificent. Good lad, buddy. Told you. It's not just monsters you can imagine together. Choose Buddy Boo the Bear, usually the most timid of the three, and he suddenly reveals his more adventurous side, imagining all kinds of exciting ways to travel around the land of me. Or choose Willow the Owl and explore the animal kingdom, imagining hippos, bumblebees, and more. Studies show that the most effective way to support your child's development is playing together, and as you do, gently encouraging them to communicate about what they're seeing, thinking, and feeling. This is easier than ever in the land of me. Every chapter provides a steady stream of talking points and questions to ask your child as you play. They naturally flow from whatever's happening on screen, and we'll get the two of you talking in no time. There's even more going on for your child to discover. Hover over the other snow monkeys, and they disappear under the water. See what real snow monkeys look like, and raccoons, and bears too. And can you spot Leonard the lizard hiding? There he goes. There's just as much fun to be had away from the computer too. Click the print button and instantly create a PDF of whatever you've imagined together. Ready to print out and stick on your wall, or maybe email to friends and family. And there's much more to print out and make. Everything from monster parts to stick together through to finger puppets and masks. Pretty soon you'll both be running around pretending to be your favorite characters. These are just some of the countless ways that shape, size and color helps you harness the power of your child's imagination. Mm -hmm.